Hey all you fight fans, Fighters Only Magazine, this is Matt Gifford from Next Level Sports Performance in Waukesha, Wisconsin, in the good old United States of America. I'm here with Sergio the Phenom Pettis, he fights for Rufus Sport here in the Milwaukee area. And what we're going to do today is take you through a couple exercises that we'll circuit together to give you a couple different training elements. We'll work on mobility, structural alignment, from there we're going to work on core stability, and then we're going to finish with the great strength power exercise and translate that strength and power into speed. So Sergio is going to start with our banded quad hip stretch. He'll step inside a band and he just looped around a rack. Now you don't need a band, it's not necessary, but again, the band's going to traction out the hip. So he's going to take a knee, we're going to make sure his glute is squeezed underneath, his belly is braced, and he has a neutral position. So if you want to swing around here real quick, Sergio's locked in, he's making sure he's breathing in through his nose, filling his belly with his air, sorry, filling his belly with air so we're breathing diaphragmatically, and that's going to ensure his nervous system relaxes and gives him a deeper stretch. Now if we want to add to it, we can reach up and open up that lat, open up that psoas as well. It's about 30 seconds. You've got to be opened up before you can strong in the correct positions. Sergio's going to step out, we'll move along here. All we need is a rope or a handle. Now, rope might be hard to find at the gym. So I'll quickly grab a handle, and again, this is going to work core stability and then T-spine rotation. Sergio's going to step up to the handle, his feet are squared, he's going to grab the table, and what he's going to do is widen out his feet, feet are hip width, toes to head, he's going to bend his knees forward slightly, push his knees out from there, that ensures that the glutes are contracted and his hips can level up in a neutral position. He's got five neutrals, so think pelvis, bucket of water. He's got to stay full. Squeeze the butt, keep the belly braced on your flex. Hands on the handle. He's just going to grab the handle, rotate down towards the outside. Good. He's going to be about six to eight reps here. You want to make sure he stays square with his hips. The belly stays braced. He's locked in the whole time. So we're getting oblique. We're getting glutes. He's in a nice athletic position. This is core on your feet. Really important for spine stability, shoulder rotation. Good. We're going to move out from there. Right into our classic kettlebell swing. So Sergio's going to set up in that hip width position. He's going to accidentally rotate his knees. He's going to hinge his hips straight back at that bottom position. Back is flat, just like an RDL or a good morning. And then from there, he's going to explode. I'll send the kettlebell back down fast. So we're working on a couple things. A fast eccentric. And then getting out of there quickly with a really fast descent. About six to ten reps here. Wonderful. Good. He'll step out. He'll translate that power into speed now with his two-fold broad jump. So he's going to take the exact same position, use the kettlebell as his reference point. He's going to extend his hips. He's going to start tall, reach, hip hinge, extend, explode. Hook off the ground. Push! Good. Yep. Push! Step. Good. Excellent. Awesome. Hopefully you guys can start incorporating some of those drills into your workouts. And again, if you want to get strong, okay, you got to have great mobility. If you want to be fast, be powerful with your punches and kicks, we got to have strength, mobility in place. And again, a fast kick, fast punch, like we talked about, it's rate of force development. What you can take from your strength. Awesome, hope you enjoy.